and it will be a proportion. It's going to be is over of equals percent over 100. Okay, and second block told me you did do this in middle school, that you saw this last year. All right, so then that's why I'm saying it should be review. All right, this is going to be our formula. We're going to take the questions. We're going to find what number is associated with the word is. We're going to find what number is associated with of, what the percent is, and then we're going to plug it in, cross multiply down and solve. Okay, because we've already last week, we practiced how to solve a proportion. Okay, so the questions are going to be phrased as sentences. All right, this one might say, what percent of 140 is 84? All right, so the thing is, that question is going to change. All right, they can phrase them lots of different ways. They can ask for the percent. They can ask for the is number. They can ask for the of number. All right, so what we want is we want to be able to have one formula for every question, no matter how they phrase the question. All right, now, my suggestion is, is that you always look and see if there is a given percent in the problem. All right, no percent sign, no percent sign. They're, they don't give a percent. Matter of fact, right here it says, what percent? So I look for the percent first, and then I put a box around it. In this case, they're asking what percent. All right, that's what we're going to solve for. That's what we don't know. So since we're in algebra, we're going to let that be X. All right, now we're going to go the rest of the way through the sentence, and then we're going to associate a number with each word, and we're going to do it the one that sits next to it. All right, now, logically, if I don't want to box in 140 and say 140 is my is word, because then that means 84 and of would be way far away from each other. So if I keep going left to right, what percent of 140, so that means that 140 is going to be substituted in for the of number, all right? And then if I finish reading the sentence, is 84, the 84 is associated with the is, all right? You need to write these sentences down, box the stuff in, all right? Now we're going to write a proportion, and then we're going to cross multiply down and solve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this proportion and I'm just going to fill in all my numbers. All right, what number is is? So 84 goes in the top left-hand corner. All right, what number is of? 140. All right, did they give me the percent in the question? No, that's what I'm trying to solve, so I'm going to put an X in for my percent. All right, the formula says there is a 100 in the bottom right-hand corner all the time. That is always a 100 every time, okay? Now, from last week, we learned how to cross multiply down. When we cross multiply down, I did the little arrows to help you remember that you are cross multiplying down, all right? 140 times X is 140X. The equal sign comes straight down. 84 times 100, hopefully you can do that and not grab your calculator, 8,400. All right, now, when you get to there, every time when you cross multiply down with a proportion, you get a one-step equation, all right? In which case, what? We divide both sides by 140. Divide by 140. The 140s cross out, okay? So you're, I'm, I'm assuming you are going to use your calculator on that. So 8,400 divided by 140 is going to give you 60, okay? So we get x equals 60. However, that's not the answer to the question. I need to write down 60 percent because it's asking for a percent. So I have to add the percent sign on it. Now, I will not add a percent sign every time. I'm only going to add a percent when it asks for a percent. Okay, if it does not ask for a percent, then I'm not going to do that. All right.